today's video, we are making a delicious dish for you. Would you guess that this is steamed tofu? I know, it sounds gross, but it is amazing. Mm. So today's episode, we're gonna show you how to make it. Thanks for waiting. We got the idea to cook something and share it with you because we love cooking, but if you follow Van Life Cuisine, they post recipes that people create. So it gave us the idea to create this recipe and film it and share it. So you can head on over to their website, not only for this recipe, but for other delicious recipes as well. Num nums. You won't edit yourself. I will edit me. I mean, I mean, I will edit you. Maybe you need to edit you. I do probably need to edit me sometimes. <laughs> I do edit me a lot. Do you need anything from this one here? You want for this oh, one? Oh yeah. The ingredients are pretty basic. Extra firm tofu, one square per person. Onion, carrots, a whack ton of spinach. Epinards. Epinard fraise. Epinard. I usually do a bunch of spinach. They just didn't happen to have any at this mini Loblaws I went to. And this is pre-washed, so I'm saving water, which is good. Loblaws, Fortinos, all those guys used to wash them, and now they don't wash them at all. So pre-washed is a bonus. Pre-washed is a bonus. The sauce that we're doing is a tandoori sauce. You could probably make any sauce that you want. We've just been really crushing this PC tandoori spice blend. You'll need a thickener of some sort. So depending on your dietary <coughs> Restrictions. Or your ingredients closet. Where did you hear that? Just made it up. Oh, your ingredients closet. We originally had used silken tofu, which we just like whipped up and put in. It was awesome. You can use things like cornstarch, flour, or arrowroot powder if you're uh, vegan. One of the things we love is hydrolyzed collagen powder. We put this in smoothies and things like that. It's really good for you. I'm not gonna go into that here. Google it, you'll figure it out. You googly. You googly. You'll want some sort of base. Boom, 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 boom. Rice, quinoa, naan, whatever you want. We are going with some long grain rice. And if you wanna save some time, pre-cook this. And things like oil, and that's obvious. Very important ingredient, wine. But that's not for the dish. For Stuff the like dish, that. cause you're a dish, so. Aw, you're the sweetest. Mm. Mother mercy. Oh, that took a while. Some sort of big dish or okay. saucepan, frying pan type thing. For the steamed tofu, we're gonna show you a couple different ways you can do it. If you have a steamer, just use a steamer, because we don't have a steamer, is you would get a larger pot and then a smaller dish or go to the dollar store and get these tin foil things. Get some tin foil and you'd like roll it up in little balls and put it there as a base. Balls. So the balls would be on there. This would sit in that. Tofu would sit in this. Pour water around, put the lid on. You have a steamer. But last time we didn't do that. That's what I'm saying. I said I'm gonna show them three different, a few oh, different ways. I'm not so. doing it that way because the other way is way we... freaking easier. The other way to do it is to steam it right in the pot with the dish. So you're actually saving a whole pot and a dish by doing it this way. So that didn't come with the pan. Okay, whatever, it's what we have. Okay. These are the tools in our tool belt. Doesn't even make sense. Put it in my tool belt, it's gonna what look so you, cool. Are you Captain America? What? So remember, efficiency is key in van life, so the less pots and pans you can use, the better. I think you meant fewer, but yeah. The first thing you're gonna do is the rice. So I'm timing? Yeah. 25 minutes. You wanna turn that down? Oh yeah. Significantly more. About as low as you can go without it going out. A full onion, about three carrots, and a whole bunch of spinach. You'll think the spinach is too much, but it's not. And just chop them. Often people ask, you know, things that like that we kept. Our cut cone knives, thanks mom, for our gift. Very important to have good knives, I think. I would like a bigger cutting board. That's one thing that I miss. I think you want a little bit over water on the carrots. They're really fat carrots. It's a lot. It's not a lot. I won't put them all in. I use a lot of olive oil because Olive oil is good for you. I recommend you take a sip of wine every two to five minutes. 
Well, the first thing is you're gonna saute the onions. I noticed that you didn't complain about the amount of onion I'm using. I give you a perfectly valid reason for that though, because onion reduces. I don't like this one. I like the rubber one, the spatula, because then I used to like the wooden one, but the wooden one holds on to like gunk and shit. I like the wooden spatula because if James gets near me, the fusk see you, James. So while that's getting ready, we'll get the hydrolyzed collagen powder. You're going to need about a cup of water, maybe a little less, depending on how saucy you want it. The hydrolyzed collagen powder needs to be mixed prior to adding it in, otherwise it might get clumpy. Pour a little bit of there and just put two tablespoons-ish and it mixes really easily with water. I can't see the frying pan. Ah, spanky! <laughs> Let's hey, go, bud. Get out, get out, get out. Hey. Always, her favorite place is the kitchen. Just in case I drop something. Was that the last of the wine? So now that we've been living in Toronto, we go out a lot. What's been one of your favorite restaurants that we've gone to in Toronto? One of my favorites is the, um, the trivia night one, which we missed last night. Last night? No. Monday night. No, I was like last. <laughs> <laughs> last night was Wednesday. Last night was Thursday. Winona. 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 One of my favorites of those. Yeah, Monday nights they have five dollar wellies. Ten dollar. Ten dollar dinner special, and every time we go, it's been amazing. So good, and then they happen to have trivia night as well. The atmosphere is very laid back, and the thing that makes a bar or restaurant the best is the servers. The servers, the, the bartenders, the trivia, trivia guy. guy. Oh, awesome night. Cool guys. So now that this is brown-ish, the onions, you put the carrots in, and then get those carrots cooking maybe another five, 10 minutes, I guess. <laughs> Did somebody try and get in our van? Somebody just tried to get in our van. Oh, I thought you knocked on it. No. Not much I can do right now. Yeah. Hold on just a second. Why are you, okay, hold on. Hold on. Kathy Ann? No, 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 she's not here, but oh, here. Kathy Ann? Kathy Ann is not here. Okay, so while that's getting ready, I am going to prepare this. So what I like to do when I serve them in whole is I just cut like a little cross but not all the way to the bottom and then steam them that way. But since we're doing it differently, it. we slice them in thirds, right? Just cut them all in little, so they're like little steaks. We'll have those off to the side. So now we're ready for the sauce portion of it. Pour in a thickener with a little bit of water, the rest of the water. Depending on how spicy or what your spice is, we tried I put three tablespoons. Last we're time put I put two and a, and a half, so I don't know if that was good for you or not. Yeah. Okay, what we'll... time are we on the, the rice? Like 12 minutes. That's a lot, because you said 10 minutes. 10, 10 minutes, minutes ago. ago. It's that one minute. I'm going to turn it off. So then mix that. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And once you kind of have all the clumpy type stuff moved out, that's where we're going to put the spinach. The spinach is gonna look like a lot. It is. I might not use all of this because I think this is more than a bunch, but even a bunch looks like a lot. But spinach reduces so much. And more spinach is good for you. It's good for your pooping. And then just slow, like easily mix it around, get it all nice and done. See, you can see that huge pile is already starting to reduce a lot and it's not even really cooked. I think I need a little bit more water. Okay, so that, and so now we put, can you time five minutes, James? Five minutes, Turkish. Place it on top, the lid. So really, if you don't use my old fashioned steamer method way, there's not that many dishes yeah, This is to way clean better up. when it comes to the dishes. One minute, 43 seconds is what we have. Left? Oh, okay. So the trick is turn the propane off from the uh, source and just let it burn that way. And that way you don't have any propane left in the tube, which is good to not waste the propane and to not suck it in your friggin' mouth. And then plate it. Get some rice. That's the rice. 
and perfect timing. Check that out. Whoa, that's heavy. There's a lot of stuff in there. The whole point is to get food in your belly. Just saying. The whole point is to get tasty food in your belly. Yar. What's good about it? Okay, so delicious steamed tofu. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's try it on the cameras. Get a little bite of everything here. Uh, oh, this is the worst. Yeah. So good. It's good. It's good.